I have the greatest uh, affection and respect for the prime sponsor of this bill. I know he's been working on this a long time, and I do not disagree with his uh, principle and, and his belief that the federal government is, in fact, out of control. I am not sure, however, that this is the method to get them in control. I think that we, as a state legislature, have some other tools in our, in our package uh, in, in order to uh, fend off federal overreach. Uh, my particular struggle with this particular resolution is the very first topic that is <clears throat> asked to be spoken about at this Convention of States, which is term limits. And uh, some of you may remember, I, long before I came to be a member of this uh, August chamber, uh, I was someone who stood out on the front porch and I shook my fist at this place and you know, I, I had a lot of problems with what went on in this building, but never once, never once did I suggest that term limits were the answer. And that's because I understand that lobbyists have no term limits. Special interests have no term limits. Staffers here have no term limits. Party bosses back home have no term limits. And the best weapon to defend against those interests controlling what goes on in this building is an independent jerk like me who can't be bought, sold, or otherwise influenced. So for that reason alone, I'm going to have to vote no on this resolution because I don't think that it's going to be any different in Washington. I think that an independent independent-minded legislator is probably our the people's best hope in Washington someone who can't be bought sold or influenced and someone who has the the people's interests back home best in mind so with all due respect uh, mr. chairman and to the prime sponsor and we've had a lot of conversations about this and again uh, uh, utter respect for for the gentleman but I will be voting no on this resolution thank you mr. chairman